is a quick video showing you how to install the plugin for the Web 3.0 version that's on the new IP cameras from CCTV Camera World. First, I'm going to type in the IP address for my camera. It just so happens to be a PTZ camera, so it'll say IP PTZ camera here. And you'll notice that this is the Web 3.0 interface because it's nice and blue and has this neat graphic in the background. I'm going to log in using the admin user and the default Avalonix password. So I'm clicking log in. And since this camera does support HTML5, you'll see that it works without a plugin. But when you go to the AI page, you do need to install the plugin uh, to successfully set up some smart detection rules. Here I already have a smart detection rule enabled, but you were able to see that I was able to see video from my camera without installing a plugin. But when I go to the home icon and then click on the AI page, the first message I see at the bottom is to use this function, please download and install the plugin. So I would click here to download. And it says the web plugin is not commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust the web plugin before you open it. And I trust it because I know it's from this camera. So I'm going to click the three dots and then click keep. It says make sure you trust it again. So you would click show more and then keep anyway. If you're on Windows 11, you may get a false positive for a virus, in which case you need to go into your Windows Defender and add an exception for the web plugin.exe file so that you can install it to your computer. In Windows 10, you don't get this message until you click the open file button and it says that Windows protected your PC and the Defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. So in order to click and open the web plugin, you need to click more info and then click run anyway. And then it's going to successfully install the plugin. And what you'll need to do is close out of your web browser, reopen your web browser, type in the IP address for your camera again. You're going to want to log back into your camera. If you have your camera connected to your NVR, of course, you'll forward into your camera through your NVR's web interface. And then now the image pulled up a lot quicker on the home page or the live view page. And then when I click the home page, go back into AI, the message for the plugin has now gone away and I can successfully move into my smart plan options, set a preset and then set up a smart detection rule. Hopefully this video helps you install the web plugin on Windows 10 and Windows 11 for the web 3.0 interface. Thank you for watching.